Hey everyone, this is Abdul Hamid with Luna Studios back again with another awesome tutorial and this time I'm bringing an animation tutorial, 2D animation tutorial and it's quite easy. It looks quite complex but it is quite easy because I have already created everything that you're gonna need for this project and you can find all the assets that will be used in this project uh, down in the description. So without further talking, let's jump into the tutorial. So here I am in After Effects. Uh, first of all, uh, we're gonna create a simple composition. Let's uh, make it 1920 by 1080. 25 frames looks good. Let's make it 10 seconds long. So here we are with our 1080p uh, composition. So right here under project, I have five pictures that is in png format so they have no background uh, the first one is uh, called buildings you can find these uh, pictures in the description i have uploaded uh, them for you guys so you can also use it uh, for whatever reason you want uh, but i'm using it uh, for this purpose so the second picture is a track vector so this picture is going to be used for uh, making the track uh, the third one is a train cabin so it is the second part of the train and the first part is the train engine it is right here and the last one is tree line so let's jump into the timeline and create some animations so first of all i'm going to create a background layer and select a, a decent color for the background so right click a uh, new solid and i'm going to name it bg now let's go into the effects and presets and type in ramp drag the gradient ramp onto our background layer like this go to ramp shape and change it to radial ramp now change the colors like this now go to the start color and change something that you like now drag the start point uh, somewhere right here and drag the end point right here so we get this smooth gradient now let's uh, bring in the assets so first of all I'm going to bring the uh, buildings which is right here. I'm going to scale it down. Now go to effects and presets and type in motion tile. Under stylize there's motion tile. Drag the motion tile onto the buildings. Now go into the motion tile and uh, check the mirror edges right here. Now increase the output width. As you can see, we are duplicating uh, the buildings layer on uh, X axis. You can duplicate as much as you want. I'm going to set the value to 600. Go back to the project. Let's bring down the tree line. So here is our tree line. It's going to be placed somewhere in here. Like here. Now go to the buildings go to the effect controls and copy the motion tile control plus c and go to the tree line paste it on the tree line now let's bring down the uh, track vector put it beneath the tree line like this let's make it a bit dark i'm gonna go and search for brightness and contrast and drop it onto the track vector let's say uh, decrease the brightness like this now go to effects and preset and type in motion tile again and drop it onto the track vector now uh, check the mirror edges and increase the width value so as you can see we are developing more tracks so i'm gonna set the value here to 2000 now let's build the train so i'm gonna drag the train engine first then I'm gonna go search for brightness and contrast. Uh, check the use legacy and drop the brightness value down. You can also change the color. You can type in tint in effects and presets and change the color using this tint effect. Uh, go to the white, uh, map white too, and you can change it to any color you want. So I'm gonna leave it right here. Now let's go to the project and bring down the train cabin. Right here, search for motion tile and drop it on the train cabin. Let me decrease the scale. 
uh, check the mirror edges and increase the output width I'm gonna go to the train engine and copy all the effects using control plus C and paste it onto the train cabin now let me join these two together As you can see they are perfectly aligned together now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the train cabin and parent it to the train engine so wherever I move the train engine the train cabin follows it now let's uh, scale this down I'm gonna place both of them beneath the, the track vector let me make the track vector uh, a bit darker so I want this area the area right beneath the buildings uh, to look like it's a uh, water and the buildings are reflecting off uh, this water what I'm gonna do is just duplicate uh, the buildings select the lower one and change its scale value on y-axis to negative and stretch it like this now select the buildings and go to position and place it right beneath the buildings just like this turn down its opacity let me name the lower one buildings shadow or reflection go to effects and preset and type in turbulent displacement drop it onto the buildings reflection change the size to 2 go to a displacement type and select the horizontal displacement and increase the amount to something like this I'm gonna set it to 800 now hold alt key on your keyboard and click on the stopwatch of evolution type in time star 150 now everything here is displaced uh, what I'm gonna do is just parent the buildings reflection to the original building layer and after this let's create a 3d space now let's change everything to a 3d layer except the background uh, after this right click create a new camera so 50 mm is good so here it is our camera so what we're gonna do now with the scene is uh, we're gonna take these buildings and its reflection and place it uh, far behind uh, this track layer and uh, take these uh, tree lines and uh, place it right in front of the camera so we get that 3d atmosphere now the best way to do that is go to the active camera and change it to top so as you can see this this is our camera as you can see these flat layers these are all these layers on our timeline so what I'm gonna do is select uh, the buildings and push it in Z space I'm holding shift so I can go as far as I can now after that uh, select the tree line which is right here and push it right in front of the camera now what we are left with is train vector train cabin and train engine uh, so they can stay right in the center uh, it won't affect our uh, animation so now let's change the top back to active camera as you can see everything kind of looks messy but it's okay uh, go to the buildings and scale it up all you have to do is play with its scale as you can see the tree line it has scaled up way too big so I'm gonna scale it down go to its position and place it in our scene it's still too big so let's scale it down again now after this go to effects and preset and type in fast blur 
drag it on to the tree line and increase it to whatever you think is best copy this fast blur and drop it onto the buildings copy it again and drop it onto the buildings reflection this time i'm setting value to around two or four as you can see we have created quite simple scene right here you can add i don't know mountains uh, behind those uh, buildings you can add whatever you want you can also add birds to the scene i'm just not making it complex for the sake of tutorial and the other thing is i'm lazy so yeah so now let's set this whole scene in motion let's create a new null object right click new null object parent everything to the null object except the train and the cabins we want everything to move except train and the cabin let's select buildings reflection buildings and tree line and parent it to the null also track let's parent it to the null one now open up the position by pressing p of the null one and create a keyframe go to whatever frame you want i'm just gonna go to the last frame the 10th second and just uh, decrease the uh, x value to move the train forward so as you can see we have lost the trees right here so we can go to the tree line and increase the output width to anything we want let's come right here same thing we can do for the track so let's uh, go to the track vector and increase the value i think we have achieved what we wanted uh, after this you can just turn on the motion blur for every uh, layer and you will have a better animation you can also uh, animate the camera motion uh, by using its point of interest and position and the last thing you can do is just add some train sound effects, uh, nature sound effects, uh, surrounding sound effects uh, and this is what you get. I hope you guys learned how to do this animation. I'll be seeing you in the next video till then signing out. Peace.